patrons got to see the unboxing and action shots first. Head on over to my Patreon and maybe help support today. Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It is Steven here, and I am back with another D for Real review. It's good to get back in the swing of things because I have not done a D for Real review in a while. And today we're going to be taking a look at what is probably my favorite kaiju ever. One of them, anyway. It's going to be the D for Real by Lante, but this one is going to be the Rick exclusive version, meaning extra bonus features that if you didn't get your order in already, then, well, you're not going to get those bonus features. Now, with that being said, aside from those bonus features, there's no difference from the general retail version. So if you are thinking about getting the D for Real by Alante, this review will still work for you. What are those bonus features? Light up. That's it. I got burned on my first light up, but I had to have it for this one. So by Alante here, D for Real. She's huge compared to the rest of the line. And quite frankly, they did her justice. So she actually has accessories, general retail or Rick version, which is great. It's by Alante. She's very pricey. So let's take a look to see whether or not she's worth adding into your collection. And by pricey, 150 to 200 bucks. Oh yeah. The only real complaint that I have for Biolante here is that she is a little too dark for me when it comes to the paint application. It's really difficult to appreciate how she looks from afar. So if you really want to see the very nuanced paint application that she has, which she really, really does, it's not just a dark green, almost an emerald green in a way. Uh, she's got browns mixed in and blues and this and that, everything. Uh, you're really going to have to get up close and personal or play with brightness and contrast when you go to edit everything together to really enhance that coloration. But otherwise, I mean, Biolante is fantastic. I will say that the sculpt really does place more so emphasis on that gigantic crocodile or alligator, the correct one, please post in the comments, uh, like head of hers, which this is, I think, a drawback in terms of the actual sculpt overall. It kind of hides up that abdomen, that core section of hers, which is also rather iconic because it pulsates, lights up. That is rather hidden. It's also a nice hidden detail that she has two tendrils that are sticking out from the base, which that is something that not a lot of Biolante releases have, most notably from the popular ones like the movie Monster Series release and the SH Monster Arts. It's good that we do have variety in the representation of Biolante. Now, with that being said, Biolante, of course, does have the different vines with the mouths on it that, you know, snip and snap and try to bite at Godzilla, and all of them have their own unique unique characteristics, with one of them being closed. So generally speaking for Biolante here, if you are a fan of the character, this is a nice chibi version of her with the only downsides being that her obviously normally large head is overemphasized here, blocking some of the smaller details on her abdomen area and lower and that the paint application is just a little bit too dark. If they would have brightened it up and made it a bit more, I don't know, brighter green, then oh boy. We could see the details much better, but even still, this is a rather nice looking figure. Now, in terms of accessories, Biolante is going to come with four different acid goop drips that are going to go on the left and right side of her mouth, as well as on two of the different extra mouthpieces for the vines. So it's kind of difficult to get the her left acid drip goop thing in place, but once you are able to get it, it's pretty easy to follow along because there are little gaps in the teeth where you go ahead and place them. So it's pretty straightforward, not very difficult to figure that out. And it does add a little bit of an extra flair for Biolante. However, here I would say in contrast to the body, the green is a little too neon. If they were able to dial that back and make it a bit more muddy, a bit darker, then I think that this would be very, very great for Biolante. Now, with this being said, there is another gimmick portion if you get the Rick version, which again, you can no longer get at MSRP, you would have to buy it from somebody else on the aftermarket uh, because X Plus is no longer selling this direct, orders closed many, many moons ago, she is going to come with a light up feature. Now you are going to get a battery pack, it takes two AA batteries and Biolante has a little plug on her backside. You go ahead and, and do your dirty imagination there, and you pull that plug out, which reveals a little hole, which you stick the battery pack uh, in, and you turn it on. Now, initially, 
I poop myself because nothing happened. But she pulsates. And this is how Biolante's coloration, whenever you do a light-up effect, should work. She pulsates, and it looks fan friggin tastic. Now, here, I would say X Plus should have just had the batteries be installable in her with an on and off switch, not battery pack, just because it's, it's a little cumbersome. But even still, they nailed this feature of Biolante, and she looks phenomenal with this extra. Gotta have it. Now, let's go ahead and move on over to a size comparison with a nice wide array of figures you just might have so this way you can get an idea of how big she is and she is absolutely big quite frankly um i am really impressed with the size she's almost as big as the sh monster arts biolante who in her own right is already very large to begin with so if you're thinking about a biolante um this may even be a good one to pick up. So yeah, let's go ahead and move right on over. Buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. If you're thinking about just getting this one, yeah, it's a fantastic purchase. I mean, I, I know, as I as I kind of said in, in my Patreon unboxing, um, I'm kind of a slut for Biolante, but I do think that this is a good release. I think that this is very much so worth the money, especially if you're just going to get the standard retail version. The Rick version is obviously going to cost more because one, you're going to buy it through X Plus directly. So yeah, they're going to charge more because it's a web exclusive. And then you're going to have to pay shipping, which generally from the manufacturer directly, uh, they tend to charge a bit more. So yes, I did overpay, I feel, but I do think that the Rick version with the light up feature is fantastic the general retail release so taking that out of the equation entirely yes this is a very very nice biolante figure and i don't think you'll be disappointed if you get this also of note what i really did like about this figure a really great highlight is that the vines that cover her core her abdomen area those are not actually attached in you can move them around and they have a little bit of wiggle so you're not easily going to break this Overall, I think this is a great release, and if you're a fan of Biolante, the drawbacks really are not that major. The positives definitely outweigh the negatives. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.